everybody welcome back to the Shaquille YouTube channel my name is Amanda and as always I am here for another review and today I have for you Big Spender by Raquel Welch which is one of their newer pieces that I think you guys are gonna love so in just a minute I'm gonna start talking about it and I actually have her in three different colors but before I do that make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can learn about all things wiggy all right so let's talk about the style at first because this is a really different style. It's very interesting because it starts with this nice wave and then it completely straightens at the bottom here. Now this wig reminds me of a couple different wigs in my opinion. One of them being one of Gabor's newer wigs that they came out with this year called Dress Me Up. Now Dress Me Up is the same idea. It's this wavy, wavy style going on here and then it gets straight near the ends. However, in Dress Me Up, there's not as much straightness happening because it's a bit shorter. So there's only like maybe an inch of the straight ends. Whereas this one is quite long, which then really reminds me of the wig called Stump Town by Bellatress. It kind of has the exact same idea with the waves and the straight ends. So if you're into this kind of a style, those two options could be other good options for you too. All right, so this is made with Raquel Welch's True to Life heat friendly fibers. So of course you can stick with this style for a while or you can straighten it out or you know you can stick with this for a bit and then straighten it when you're done with it. However, I do find that um, heat friendly fibers, especially longer ones, they can be a little bit finicky to maintain, especially in a curly or a wavy piece. The ends are going to start to get frizzy and fuzzy and clumpy, um, which then the only way to fix that is to add heat to it. However, all of that being said, with this particular style, you might find that it's going to be a little bit easier to maintain than your typical wavy wig. And that's because the ends are already straight. So they've styled this and designed it so that the ends look, look okay straight. So if you find the ends to be getting too frizzy, too fuzzy, too frazzly, too clumpy, then you can go ahead and take your hair straightener straighten the ends and guess what it's still gonna look the same you're not gonna be taking away any of that wave which is fantastic so overall this one is gonna be a little bit easier to maintain than your other wavy heat defiant pieces because you're not gonna have to remove any of the wave really over time though you will find that throughout the rest of the wig it might start to feel a little bit drier and fuzzy and frizzy but that will still take a while you're going to notice it the most at the ends okay let's talk about this color this is shaded cappuccino one of my favorite colors and it's just such a perfect in between brown and blonde color so this is the color code rl12 22 ss so this is going to be your light sort of ash brown base and then it's going to have some cool blonde highlights throughout and then of course it has the SS, so it has a shadow shade. So we're gonna have a little bit of a medium brown root going on here. And even though this is already a, a brown piece, you do still see a little bit of rooting and it kind of gives the effect of a grown out highlight in my opinion. So this is a shaded cappuccino, a really beautiful color in between brown and blonde. And it is just so you know, quite heavily highlighted in that cool blonde. So if you're looking for a piece that's just a little bit of highlights, this is not it. This is quite heavily highlighted. You're going to see a lot of blonde in this. All right, this is, in my opinion, about a medium density piece. There is a good chunk of hair on here. Um, and then there is a little bit of permatease. However, there's not a ton of it. It's, in my opinion, very much necessary for this style. If we didn't have it, then it's just going to fall flat. So. The permatease, I find, in my opinion, definitely adds to this particular style. All right, since I have it in a couple more colors, I'm going to show you the cap on this one here. So we have a full monofilament top, which is amazing. We do have an extended lace front. So let me show you that lace front here. Raquel Welch always brings the, the lighter pieces forward to help disguise their knotting, make it a little bit um, more natural, in my opinion. And then that full monofilament top is gonna to allow you to part it wherever you want. So that permatease I was talking about starts just where that monofilament ends, right about in this spot right here. So that's where the permatease is gonna start. 
but on the top section here where that monofilament is, you're not gonna find any permatease there because it's all hand knotted onto that monofilament. Okay, we also have an open wefted cap with these silicone strips throughout your wefting and that's gonna help add a little bit more grip to your head which, I mean, who doesn't want more security, right? <laughs> okay, we also have some really soft velvet ear tabs, an extended velvet nape, and a Velcro adjusting straps. Okay, and here I have it in the color Shaded Iced Java. So this is going to be RL4 slash 10SS. Now, the 4 in this color is going to be a dark brown, and the 10 here is going to be a very subtle sort of light ash brown highlight throughout. So if you are a dark brunette person but are looking for a little bit of pizzazz to your color, this is a really great one because it's gonna add just a really subtle highlight to it, which is kind of fun. Let me put Ice Java on for you so we can see it on a person. Okay, here she is on. Now it's funny because when I put this one on, even though this is brand new out of the box, I've only changed the part, I am noticing that the wave on this is not as much as the wave on this one. Do you guys see that? And even looking at myself here, I don't see as much wave. I definitely see the straight ends, but the waviness is not quite as relevant here. So, might be something to note. Um, might be some inconsistencies with that style but we'll take a look because i have one more color to show you guys too to see what the wave pattern is like on that i will show you the lace front here so again even though they only have that the light brown uh, and it's you know not a blonde color they still bring that forward to help as much as they can with the knotting and then of course your mono top okay last but not least i have the color pink which i mean who doesn't love this one this is so funky oh. <laughs> so this style overall is a super unique interesting style adding pink to it that just makes it extra funky right all right we'll put it on it's almost like a pinky lavender purple color with a medium brown root um, this one looks wavier, right? So I don't know, this Ice Java piece, <laughs> I don't know what happened here, but the wave is definitely a little bit off. It's not quite as there, and this is uh, brand new out of the box. If I were to have this and keep this though, it would be easy to add some more wave back into it though, because it is heat defiant fibers. All right, I think that's about all I have to share with you guys today. Um, if this is a piece that you're really interested in, then make sure you go check it out at chiquelle.com, chiquelle.ca if you're in Canada, or chiquelle.com.au if you're in Australia. So for now, thank you so much for coming and joining me today, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.